Hey guys, I just want to make a little quick video on how to configure AMD's iFinity technology with three 24-inch monitors. Both, each monitor is uh, 1920 by 1080 with all three monitors as one monitor combined resolution would be 5760 by 1080 in landscape mode. So, right now all three screens are identical, okay? Now what you do, you go down to the lower right hand corner, well for me, just find your um, Callus Control Center, I right click it and it shows here what I'm running, which is two AMD 6970s in Crossfire, so I just go to AMD Vision Engine Control Center, which is here, okay. And then what you want to do is you go to AMD Ifinity Multi Display. Now, what I'm using is the latest AMD drivers and the latest AMD Catalyst Control Center. As of the late, I believe it's 11.1 AMD Ifinity. Right there. Let's see if that's going to focus. Whatever. You guys get it. All right, and it gives you this little drop-down box here. I have four monitors hooked up to my graphics cards. Um, I have these three and also my TV, which is uh, behind me, sort of to the left of me. So that's why it says, you know, four displays, two by two. Click on that. Four by one, a big, long display. And also a three by one which what I'm going to be using for the landscape and go to continue and they all turn off and then turn back on and what it does it, it sort of already does it for you but as you can see it's not in the correct position each screen is off so I've got to find my mouse here again and then you go down to right here it says Click Arrange to correct the relative position of the displays in your display group, if required, which it is required for me here. So I clicked on Arrange, and then it gives you this little uh, view of the three screens here, and it tells you to select grid position below that corresponds to the physical position of the display lit in blue so basically this the first screen here that my center screen is lit in blue I select that and then my left screen is lit in blue select that and then it arranges it for you perfectly and now I also have a uh, wallpaper that's already configured for the resolution of Ifinity three times one so I go to I'm done and that's that pretty much um, it should give you some more options here if you want to adjust the bezel compensation arrange the display group create the display group and disable if you want to adjust bezel compensation click on that what it does is see when you have larger bezels. Uh, the bezels that I have are pretty thin but if you had even larger ones you know it, it could be a distraction to some people or whatever but what it does is it helps eliminate it and also if, if also if the screens are not aligned correctly like mine are see how like one's up and the other one's lower it helps with that too so you, you use this See, watch, I'm just going to hold it. Well, I'll click really fast. See how it, it, it makes it bigger here? Helps align it better. And then you go to the other side and it says, Are the test patterns correct for both angles, for both sides, both of the monitors? And if that is true, which this one looks pretty good, you just click yes. And what it does is it helps your bezels not look like they're there you know what I mean but it kind of, what it does is also um, it eliminates so okay for an example see my mouse here my mouse cursor if 
I didn't I did not do bezel compensation once I left this screen and went to the other screen right away the the mouse would would uh, appear but basically I could put my mouse there and it'd be gone in that area because basically that area is is basically taken away so it gives it a much more uh, better viewing angle basically it, it helps the bezels kind of disappear out of sight out of mind type of thing but I'm not a fan of bezel compensation I'd like to uh, see what's going on here and also like in games or anything else it would get rid of this this area here is just taken away so whatever is important that's in between these two it's gone now you, you kinda get what I'm saying it changes your resolution also you could use here on this AMD Affinity multi display drop down here you could click on uh, set preferred display click on that and basically this one here would be on your, your left display this one here is your center and this one here is your right display it's already checked off that the center one is your preferred one and that's the best one for your iFinity gaming so you just click on that which mine's already done so if it's not already there so that's uh, basically it on iFinity and how to set it up and how easy it is now with the newer uh, Catalyst Control Center and the drivers and stuff like that I uh, you know back in the uh, HD 5000 series which I had uh, before these cards I had uh, two 5850s that's when Affinity first originated from was a 5000 series cards it was a little bit different now they made it much easier and better and it, it's working out better there's still some bugs here and there but uh, you know it's still fairly fresh technology not too many people use this technology because of the cost or whatnot but there's nothing like it there is nothing like gaming with a surround feeling I rather prefer gaming this way even though my monitors are you know 24 inch monitors they're not big per se like a 46 inch TV which is really big four monitors is this this TV basically sort of sort of and you know there's no bezels in the way or whatever but basically when you game on a single monitor is here this is what you see and an affinity this is what you see I'm oh, sorry I don't have a widescreen wide angle lens so but uh, you would see more it doesn't necessarily stretch out the image it gives you more you feel more immersed in the game like you're in it I mean if you felt that uh, because the screens are small I mean I've seen people get uh, three uh, like 32 inch LCD TVs or three uh, 42 inch 46 inch I mean that'd be my ultimate you know gaming experience um sort of an upgrade to this would be three 27 inch monitors at a higher resolution that would be awesome 30 inch monitors of course would be the ultimate gaming experience I believe in portrait mode which would the, the monitors would be turned this way which that was a bad interpretation of it but basically the monitor would be turned like that up and down instead of side to side horizontal vertical yes this has been a short video on how to configure AMD Infinity technology I'm sure you guys who are watching this already know how to do it or maybe you don't you know maybe you don't know and what it's like I highly recommend gaming in, in Infinity or NVIDIA's surround which is basically the same thing sort of same concept because there's nothing like it man I mean I won't game any other way you know I, I do like sitting back on 
on on my bed or whatever and gaming that way instead of being crouched over this desk and you know it might be uncomfortable sometimes or whatever but the, just the experience is just just nothing like it you know I feel w when I game on a single screen like you know 1920 by 1080 like on my TV it um, I feel like you know where, where's the rest of the game at I'm missing something here I'm missing missing things you know you, it's uh, it's kind of hard to explain you just gotta experience it for yourself I mean you can watch videos of people playing this way and stuff like that and people say things about the bezels and you know they're in the way and they look like crap and or whatever but basically when you're focused on the center screen here you're not too you're not looking your left or your right you're focused on the center still when the games are you know have the right HUD set up and stuff like that um, there's lots of uh, lots of pros and cons in this you know you, you some games don't come out right out of the box Affinity ready you have to tweak it stuff like that it, it could be a headache but um, ultimately it's I think it's worth it you know so uh, yeah I rather game in three 24 inch monitors versus one single big monitor that's just my cup of tea let me know what you guys think and leave a comment below please like the video please favorite it please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon thanks for watching